creating a watermark in Darktable. How do you do it? A watermark is a graphic overlay on your photo to show that the photo was taken by you and not a baboon. You might think it would help people to stop stealing your photos, but it's so easy to remove a watermark that it probably won't help much. But a watermark can be a good way to promote your photography. So let's make one. Before we start, if you need help with the basics of Darktable, be sure to check out our Udemy course linked in the comments. Buying our course helps us make these free videos. Step 1. Choose a font. This step isn't strictly necessary, but if you want a custom font, you can find a bunch of free ones on Google Fonts. Choose one that looks nice and install it on your computer. Step 2. Open Inkscape or your SVG editor. Now, make your logo. Add some text, maybe your logo, and the word photography to prove that you're a true photographer and not a baboon. Make sure the background is transparent. Now, what about the text color? You might want to change the watermark color depending on the photo. You don't have to make multiple versions to do this, because there's a way to make it possible to change the color in Darktable. To make this possible, go to the XML editor. In this editor, find all SVG text tags. For each tag, click on Style and find the Fill variable, which describes which color your text is. There should be some sort of hexadecimal variable here. If Fill isn't in this list, just add it. Replace this value with dollar sign, parenthesis, watermark underscore color, close parenthesis. Make sure to do this with all your text and any logo shapes that you want to change the color of in Darktable. Step 3. Save your watermark in the right place. On macOS and Linux, it should be in your home directory under the folder .config slash darktable slash watermarks. If the watermarks folder doesn't exist, you will have to create it. However, some installations of Darktable are in a different location. This happens if you used a flat pack on Linux. In this case, the folder is .var app org.darktable.darktable config darktable watermarks. Again, you may have to create the watermarks folder. If you used the Snap Store, wait, what were you thinking? On Windows, by default, the directory should be Program Files, Darktable, Share, Darktable, Watermarks. Put your watermark in this folder. Step 4. If you have Darktable open, go to the Watermarks module and click on the Reload button. If Darktable is not open, the watermark will automatically load when you open Darktable. Step 5. Select your watermark from the list. Now, just place the watermark where you want it. If you followed step 2 correctly, you should be able to change its color. We hope this video helped you create your own custom watermark, but if it did not, watch it again.